Welcome to the Mercedes-Benz Club Stand at the UK National Classic Car Show. First vehicle up is an R230 SL or Sportlight translated from German. This is the fifth generation SL and this particular vehicle dates from 2002. It's an SL55 AMG with just 78,000 miles on the clock and absolutely in superb order. Although 19 years old, the vehicle actually stands up quite well compared with contemporary vehicles from today. And you can see that although the vehicle's got a CD player, something that we'd seldom see today, a lot of the other controls look modern. The vehicle's obviously got air conditioning, quite sumptuous leather seats, and this particular vehicle is in absolutely superb order. One FXK is a beautiful white May 1963 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL. Family owned from new, and it must be a rarity to find one that's spent so much time with one family these days. It's actually a late example, as in 63, this generation of SL gave way to the Pagoda generation. It's got some lovely styling details, as you can see the steel wheels, the lovely side vents, and also, the characteristic mirrors fitted right at the top of the front wings. If you're blown away by the outside of this car, the interior doesn't disappoint either. The red leather interior, the white, I guess, Baker-like type steering wheel, and I believe that's the central horn ring characteristic of Mercedes of that period really set that car off. It's as good inside as it is out. I can't imagine too many of you have actually seen the next car in the flesh. I certainly hadn't. It looks like the love child of a VW Beetle and some pre-war sedan. And in actual fact, it is also a Mercedes-Benz, but this time a W23 130. It was unveiled at the 1934 IAMA exhibition in Berlin. And in actual fact, it is the first rear engine four-cylinder car from Daimler-Benz. This particular example is from the first year of production and production actually finished in 1936. It had a very short production run. All Mercedes W124s are special, at least to me. This particular one's really special. It's a 500E, which was produced from 1991 to 1994. Created in conjunction with Porsche, who modified the body shell, upgraded the brakes, the steering and the exhaust, as Mercedes-Benz Engineering were actually flat out at the time, developing the W140 generation S-Class. The running gear is donated from the R129SL and gives the vehicle a healthy 326 brake horsepower and a 0 to 60 time in 5.5 seconds with a top speed limited to 155 miles an hour. Pretty impressive in the early 90s. All of these were left hand drive only. This limited derivative is one of just 500 produced in this beautiful sapphire black with green rosa leather Recaro seats and bird's maple eye interior. It was originally supplied to Munich and then exported to Japan and then imported into the UK in January 2021 and it's had the benefit of a full overall and mechanical refresh. Our 
our penultimate car is this 1986 SL. It's one of the last of the R107 generation which benefited from improved suspension, brakes and this particular vehicle is fitted with automatic transmission and the paint finish is arctic white with a relatively rare blue cloth trim. What makes this car even more special is that in May 1988 it was fitted with a 3.2 litre AMG engine upgrade at an eye-watering cost of £9,130 despite the owner at the time not taking the AMG body kit which he preferred not to be specified. This lifted the power from 188 to 245 brake horsepower and this particular vehicle has covered only 44,000 miles in its 35 years on the road. Bringing us right up to date, jumping forward to 2021, we have the all-electric Mercedes EQA, the EQA 250 to be precise, with a 140 kilowatt motor, a 66.5 kilowatt battery, it's automatic and produces 190 brake horsepower. It gives a 263 miles range and a useful charging speed of up to 100 kilowatts. 0 to 60 time is 8.9 seconds and top speed is limited to 99. I personally think the styling of the EQA looks pretty good, particularly in this white paint finish, which is a real contrast to the black trim on the vehicle. It actually looks like an electric car that you'd want to drive. Even in entry level sport trim, it still comes fitted with cruise control, automatic air conditioning, heating and electric adjustment controls for the front seats, ambient interior lighting, 18 inch shallow wheels and as you can see here a 10 inch touch screen with built in satellite navigation. It's also fitted with lane keep assist and blind spot monitoring standard and for those of you who are interested, a recommended retail of £45,645. I hope you've enjoyed this walk round of the exhibits on the Mercedes-Benz Club at the UK National Classic Car Show. Please like, share and subscribe and feel free to check out some of my other videos. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching.